Hi, welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that not only trains you, but gives you the credentials to become both a certified tech and or certified RV inspector. This week, let's talk about cleaning your landing gear and your slide outs. So here we have our landing gear. Did you know that we actually need to clean these cylinders? So what happens is we get dirt and debris lined up in here, and as it comes up, it begins to break the seal here, and we have hydraulic fluid leaking all over the place. And of course, we have to call out a service tech to repair that. I want you to get two different types of lube. First, we're gonna get a penetrating oil, and then we're gonna get a dry lube. The penetrating oil we're gonna spray on first, and this helps break up uh, any product that we have. So you're gonna grab you a towel of some sort, or even just a cotton towel, you're gonna spray it on, and you're gonna wipe it off. And then once you wipe it off, you've got the debris off with your penetrating oil, you're gonna come back with your dry lube and you're just gonna simply spray your dry lube. So that's how you take care of these. Underneath your slide out, if you have a through frame system, you're gonna have a contraption that looks like this. This is actually just a track uh, with a gear pack on it. What we need to do, there's a lot of you that do this, you put grease here, you know who you are. We can't really put grease here underneath our slides because of course it's exposed to the elements. Once it's exposed to the elements, dirt, grease, grime gets all in here. If the dirt and grease get in here, we put a lot of weight on our gear pack, we can tear this up. So the same thing, since you're underneath and you're gonna be spraying this, get your gogglers on. So with your goggles, you're gonna take your penetrating oil and you're gonna spray all the way down your track. If it's dirty because you put grease on it or just simply because you haven't cleaned it in a while, grab your little brush, I want you to clean the teeth off, okay? Clean the teeth off, grab your towel. You're gonna dry that off. You're gonna come back with your dry lube and spray your dry lube. When we get to our sprocket right here, our gear pack, we wanna make sure that we don't spray that too heavily. It can still gum things up. So what we wanna do is just clean the track. Here's the Schwintech system. Same thing, we don't have to be under the rig, it's on the side here. We wanna look over here we wanna go ahead and hit that with the dry lid and spray that off. Very seldom we'd have to clean this off, but if we did, if you do have marks in there, go ahead and just lightly brush this out and then spray it back with the dry lid. If you wanna be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form and start your business today. It on now. Testing on the mic. One, two, one, two. Really loud. Hi. Squeaky shoes. <laughs> Let's grab this one. Pay for a service. Son of a gun. You want to pay for a service tag? Well, if you do, let me just go ahead and give you my number. Let's start over. Pew! Does this look lighter than it is? You know. Now, if you if you steal it from your your wife, and you use this, just know you're gonna throw it away and just say you don't know what happened to it. That, my friends. We'll save you a couple hundred dollars on the next trip for your tech to come out and fix things because you didn't take care of it. Nobody told me. I should have listened to the guys over at the NRVTA. All right, is that two minutes? That felt like two minutes to me. Did you, did you, did you close it out? Oh no. Oh well, don't we? Okay. That was good.